What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another one. Uh, uh, this is going to be a quick one. This is going to be a review on these minimal minimalist holsters by Essential Holsters. Uh, the, this is a company out of Huntsville, Alabama. It says that these are 3D printed. These, this is the model for that fits the Glock 42, 43, and 43X. For anybody who doesn't know, the 42 is the 380 auto. The 43 is the subcompact single stack nine millimeter. And the 43X is also the subcompact single stack nine millimeter, but with a slightly longer grip and higher capacity. But these three weapons, uh, they the trigger guards are pretty much the same, if not very similar. So these holsters fit both weapons. I have the 42 and the 43X. Those are the weapons I'll be de demonstrating this on. And I also have the right-handed model and the left-handed model. I have both because sometimes I do tend to like to carry smaller the back. So that's why I bought both of these. Like I said, this is a company that 3d prints these holsters they're out of huntsville alabama um i believe i paid about 15 dollars each for these i was recommended them by a friend of mine who has a massive gun collection so i took his advice to try them out and so far i like them so i'm gonna get a little bit deeper into them unpackage them and show how they fit on the guns and how they fit on the waist okay so this is how these essential holsters neck and holsters come they'll just come in these uh plastic uh zip bags um not a whole lot to it they have a business card little qr code on the back that you can scan has that information like i said this company is out of huntsville alabama i bought like i said earlier i bought the right-handed and the left-handed because I like to carry smaller the back. They're pretty simple devices. I mean, they're minimalist holsters, so you, you don't expect a lot. The main thing is that it protects the trigger. So they do that. They seem pretty sturdy. I like them. When you're looking for a minimalist holster, you don't really want a, a whole lot to it. They're called, like I said, they're called the naked holster. And... I believe I paid around fifteen dollars for each of them, so not not really expensive. Um, you know, like I said, I I like them for summertime carry when you're wearing like some workout shorts, some basketball shorts, sweatpants, something like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just get into how they fit the guns and just demonstrate how to put them on. Like I said, this is not gonna be a long video. There's not a whole lot to it. Okay, so now we're just gonna give a quick demonstration of how these holsters fit and how they uh, attach to your waist or your clothing. Um, not gonna get real deep. Like I said, I'm gonna be using my Glock 42, which is the 380. First, we're gonna make sure this weapon is clear. Drop the magazine. See the weapon is empty. Gonna point the weapon in a safe direction, pull the trigger. And then we're gonna be using also the Glock 43X, which is the nine millimeter. Drop in the magazine. As you can see, both of these weapons are loaded because these are two of my go-tos. Um, this is my prefer, preferred everyday carry. So we're gonna show that that gun is empty. Point the weapon in a safe direction, pull the trigger. So, like I said, we're going to be uh, demonstrating these minimalist holsters. I have the right-handed version and the left-handed version. I bought both of them because I do like to, like I said, carry small of the back as well. So, just going to start with the Glock 42, which is the smaller one, the one that's chambered in 380. This is the right-handed version. So this is the one that I would use for appendix carry. 
Now with a minimalist holster, main thing you wanna do is just make sure that it protects your trigger guard. So with this holster, it's pretty simple. They tell you that it's 3D printed. So you can, I don't know if you can see inside, but it does have a contour that goes along with the trigger, kind of lets you know which side that you're dealing with. So this, like I said, this is the right-handed one. So basically all you do is just clip it in. It, uh, let's see, I have it backwards. I'm sorry, yep, I have it backwards. So when you, as you can see, when you don't have it, the right way it doesn't fit. So I had the gun backwards. That doesn't really fit, if you can see. It's not snug. So you would have the gun and it clicks right in. When the gun is facing the right way, that was my mistake. So as you can see, that's pretty secure. <clears throat> and your trigger guard is protected. And all you do is I'm wearing workout shorts for the purpose of this video. Just clip it to your garment. Cover it with your shirt. Now normally I'd probably be probably be wearing a t-shirt, but I can still conceal this Glock 42 under a tank top, which I already demonstrated in a previous video, which is why I like this gun. So that's pretty simple. And when you want to unholster it, what I do, you just grab it. Now, when I'm carrying appendix, it does have these little, you can see it has some grip, some texturing for you to grab with your finger. So you can just hold with your finger, hold the holster in place, unholster the weapon. There you have it. Now, the thing about these minimalist holsters is that they do not, recommend that you reholster the weapon while you're wearing the holster. They recommend that you remove the holster. And then reholster your weapon, pointing into the safe direction, of course. Make sure it's secure, trigger guard is covered, and then you're gonna reholster. So it's pretty simple. Now, for the smaller the back, which I also like to carry, we're gonna demonstrate the left-handed holster. And then we're gonna use the 43X, which is the nine millimeter, slightly bigger, but let's demonstrate that this holster works for both of these guns because because as you can see the trigger guards are roughly the same size so we're going to take the 43x and like i said we're going to just push it in and as you can see once again if you don't have it on the right side, it won't fit. And you hear that click. That's how you know you have that holster on the right side. Like I said, this is the left-handed one. I bought this one for smaller to back carry because I am right-handed. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna place this holster Small at the back, cover it with my shirt. And that's that. Nice and concealable, good summertime carry option. And once again, when you unholster, this one, instead of the index finger, I'm gonna use the thumb. Depress the holster, you have that texturing on the bottom, on the on the clip and you're just gonna unholster your weapon. Let's put a, pull it off. 
you can get a good look at that texturing that's on the clip that really helps with unholstering the weapon so i think this is a quality product um real simple cost effective like i said essential holsters look them up if you're looking for a good uh minimalist holster good for summertime carry i definitely suggest looking them up they're out of huntsville alabama i ordered these um like i said i paid about 15 dollars a piece for these uh i believe when i ordered them they shipped the same i mean not the same day i'm sorry i believe they shipped the next business day and i had them within a week so their customer service is good the turnaround time is good um check them out can't say enough good about it i'm satisfied with the products um if you like this video hit the like button comment subscribe if you know of any other uh minimalist holsters that you suggest i'm always open for suggestions i'm always open for feedback criticism negative and positive so leave it all down in the comments but until then like i said hit that like button subscribe and comment and be safe get some shooting done and until next time we are out peace